That wizard came from the moon, and then he left us. This week on Boss Battle. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Welcome everyone to Boss Battle number 154, a show in which the writers of InsertCoinToBegin.com get together to talk about video games. I'm your host Bobby F. J. Town, but before we get to the infotainment and general good time making of this podcast, let's see what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? What'd you achieve? Uh, Call of Duty. Again? Um, Did you I, use the cat ears from last week? I did use the cat ears from last week nice. for like two games, and then I unlocked <laughs> something else, and I'm like, oh, time to move on. Um, <laughs> but uh, Replay FX, I, I did that, and okay, then I went... To talk about later? Yeah, and then I went to uh, Distant Worlds Music from Final Fantasy. Oh, nice. I forgot and, about that. Yeah, so uh, I had a, a, a video game-themed weekend. Nice. But not from around the internet, so... Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, you could tie that in there. Right, so uh, yeah, that's what I did this weekend. Go ahead. Cool. All right, Riz, what did you achieve? Uh, I too went to uh, Replay FX. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can see Chachi's and Chachi and myself's uh, thoughts on that on InsertCoinToBegin dot com and later on in this podcast. Uh, but also, uh, a- another thing we'll get into the podcast, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rocket League. Yep. Holy shit. I, I I I'm gonna wait until you know we talk about it. But if you it, short short story is if you have a PlayStation Four, it's free, so buy it. And if you don't, it, it's on Steam for twenty bucks. So buy it. <laughs> uh, other than that, I haven't been playing much. Okay, Sorg, what'd you chief? I played Tomb Raider. Hmm. Or Why? otherwise, Why that? hey, what? Tomb Raider's not bad. It's the new one. It's the new one. Yeah. Otherwise known as, watch this girl get tortured the entire time. Holy <laughs> crap! Yeah. Wait, what? Holy crap! It is unsettling. It is. It's. It is the most brutal game I think I've ever played. Like I. I <laughs> I mean, remember, like back in the day, you were like, "Wow, she dropped from that 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 cliff and and crumpled and 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 it was so <laughs> lifelike." Now you're like, "Holy crap, that was too real when she got eaten by that bear." <laughs> There's a polygon tiger right next to her. Oh, wait, yeah, no. She, no. <laughs> wait, but she she gets eaten by a bear. I okay. Uh, there's, there's there's wolves. She gets crushed by a rock one time. It's just yeah. very very it's unsettling. A, it's very king questy, isn't it? I did see the uh, disturbing scene with the uh, her her going down the river and getting impaled by like sticks and stuff. Oh, I haven't gotten to that point yet. Oh, yeah, oh that, that's nasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's it's that freaking is vicious. Nasty. It Thanks. is crazy, and I can't stop playing it. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me and my attitude towards women. <laughs> so, oh no. But wow. uh, but it's there, and it was a freebie for games with gold. So um, I'm 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 getting into it, and I'm enjoying. It. I'm 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 a fan of the old to- old Tomb Raider games. I played the heck out of the first two, so uh, kind of coming back to it. So yeah, having fun with that. Uh, other than that, uh, mostly fun games. Like I said, a little bit of Angry Birds two that we'll get into. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's that's really about it. Had a very very busy weekend. So. I also had a busy weekend. I played uh, Simpsons Tapped Out and downloaded Metal Gear Solid, but other than that, I didn't really mm. play uh, much video games. So, without further ado, let's go around the internet, Chachi. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was too busy playing Angry Birds. I <laughs> this is a thing that we do. Yep, yep. So, we gotta... I am stalling while I bring up the stuff <laughs> that I put in this week's post. Angry <laughs> Birds from around the internet. <laughs> you know, that is entitled... Video game theme things from around the internet. So, uh, Twitch gamer Trick2G was celebrating 800,000 fans on Twitch with a 24 hour stream uh, to increase the amount of money that he was getting. <laughs> and decided that he was getting. Get the phone! Uh, getting. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Oh. Hi. Hi. All right, bye. Uh, he and so at, with like three minutes to go into the uh, with to finish the stream, he decided he was gonna fake his own squatting. And 
and no. And now he's banned. But thanks to the magic of YouTube, you can watch the videos over there at AnsarCornVegan.com. And uh, I don't know how he, who he paid to fake uh, being cops, but that's also a crime. And uh, I'm glad they tackled his ass because it was hilarious for me to watch. <laughs> hold on, um, hold on, hold on. Up, I got, well, hold on. I got to find the part in the video where this happens. Is it just like uh, towards the end? Isn't it three minutes from the end? Yeah, three minutes. minutes. Okay. Uh, three minutes. Oh no, I found it. I found it. Hold on, hold on a second. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah. So if we go to this, and he's just kind of chilling, he's like in the bottom of your screen, I would describe it for the audio, so he's hanging out, and there's all kinds of crazy stuff around him, he's just kind of got a square in there, and what are these all stats and everything going on from his game, and, oh, what's going on? What's going on? Something's going on. Don't smile when they're attacking you, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh no, he hits, the, for, guy. He he hits the guy. He hits the also been up for twenty four hours. Oh jeez. Yeah. Oh jeez. And uh hey hey sword. Yes. I think we got an idea for Chachi plays. We got we're not swatting Chachi plays. No. Yeah, I swear to God. I will murder you in the face. <laughs> jeez. Screw this guy. I'm gonna get banned from Tunisia. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh so yeah, that's the thing that happened. I enjoyed it immensely. I hope he goes to jail. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, for yeah, for real. I hope. I hope. I hope he goes to jail for real. Uh, he wouldn't last an hour. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Mm -hmm. Look at him. He's so cute. Oh yeah. Godly. Bubba will be his friend. All right. Next up, <laughs> I, I, this is this is a thing that I can't believe I'm putting in the post. Um, but Buzzfeed had a had a funny thing. Um, no. Recently. Uh, it's a what if, uh, like real life were a video game and it's Skyrim themed. In yeah, interesting gif at the top. In interesting yeah. giant ass gif at the top here. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I, I'm okay with it. Uh, I'm not okay to feel horrible that I, I subjected you to that and they got hits. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it's, it was creative. I love the I mean, take organic cat food, weight one, value two. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't even play Skyrim, and I can appreciate this. A level progress, cat petting cat increased petting. to 17. Oh, cat petting. <laughs> I would level the shit out of that. Take so, mushy uh, banana. Yeah, it, it's extremely entertaining and well done. This is and good. I them. Um, <laughs> banana? Yeah. They'll probably never get on insertcointobegin.com again. I don't know about that. I just want to walk around Pittsburgh. <laughs> Man, with, that just, just with the banana in my hand, holding it out in front of me. Just like <laughs> just like that. I feel just like, like a cup of coffee. Pumpkin spice Sorry. latte. Plus 20 yeah. to restore health and take half as much damage nice. for wor at work for eight hours. <laughs> I mean, just how, he, how this person holds that latte. Yeah. I just want to walk around like that. Completed. I, I feel like this was a missed opportunity for someone to create a mod for like Google Glass. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait! Interaction, uh, Kristen. Yes, I'm a lady. Get your own damn taco. Are the selections here? <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. This yeah, is great. So, I mean, it, it, it is well done. Queen of Tacos, Her Royal Majesty Kristen takes a taco, or she, or she will, oh my God, like literally die of starvation. Escort her to Chipotle for a taco before she drops dead at your mouth from malnutrition. Objectives: get Kristen a taco. Optional: poison her taco before she eats it. Oh no! <laughs> oh, this is the best thing you've ever posted uh, on here. This is amazing. And it came from Buzzfeed. And it yeah. came from Buzzfeed. Uh, and uh, last but not least, uh, very talented musicians on YouTube did a Super Mario World medley surprise. They're Japanese. Um, so yeah, go over to insertpointbegin.com. It's entertaining as hell, and you will listen to all... How long is it? I forget how long it is. Five minutes and one second of it. Really is, is that good? Um, there are props, so... Nice. You will enjoy it. And that is all I have for you this week on Insta. Oh, wow. No. No. Our video game theme thing from around the internet. Net, 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 net. Before we move on, I would just, like to, show, I would just like to show these off. Oh, look at that. Ooh, nice. Um, 
the gold ones will be first place, and the silver will be third and second place. Uh, these these came in the mail today. Uh, the trophies for the tournament. So go over to ChachiPlays.com, help us raise money for art programs for the kids, and uh, get your entry into uh, Tetris or Mario Kart tournaments. And, join and I am and I um, am putting my title on the line for anybody. Yes. You do uh, really have a choice. Um, no. <laughs> both return, both of last year's champions are putting their belts on the line. Um, they will take it. Well, in the event that Riz does not make it the entire way through again <laughs> this year, um, he will put his well, belts on the, way, on the line against the uh, winner of this year's tournament. And same with uh, Missy, who won last year's Tetris tournament. Um, yep, got so, that yeah. right here. I don't have to. Why do you have it? Just been in the studio. Where is she going to put something like this? Yeah. So the belts are on <laughs> the fridge. waist. You in know, the fridge. Don't you watch CM Punk? Right. Around her shoulder. You know, normal, normal like wrestling things you have to do with a belt. Mm. Right. It's a championship, damn it. So, that's yeah, that's, that, is, that is three days away. And we'll be streaming live. Yeah. Right here on SorgatronMedia.com. That's right. Live, live.sorgatronmedia.com. Yep. Um, so you can go over to ChachiPlace.com. We added new forms of entertainment this year. Mm -hmm. um, we have a hooper and a, a twirler uh, Friday night. Um, costume contest on Saturday. Uh, uh, Chance, uh, a friend, uh, Chris Chance Brown, will be there uh, drawing custom artwork for you. And uh, a zombification station Friday or Saturday uh, for the zombie hours of uh, Shanti Place, <laughs> which will be uh, five to seven. You got the best. So, you got the best picture of Chance here too. There you go. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, I, I asked him. I said, "Hey, can you send me a pro a, a bio and a picture?" Mm -hmm. And he sent me a bio, and immediately said on Twitter, "Now Chachi says knows I'm horrible at writing bios." To which I responded, "Correction, you are incredible." Because if I mean, if you read the bio, it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then he sent me two horrible, both equally bad pictures <laughs> to use. <laughs> and then he said, "He said here, use this one instead on that one." So check that so, Chachi place. His his bio: Chris Chance Brown is a weird dude doing comics, animation, and graphics for various campaigns for close to a decade. We'll do that. He's also taught fine arts and animation for a while, but has filled in on art and writing for various comics. There you go. Yeah. Awesome. So. No, you forgot the beach part. The beach part? Where's the beach part? Did, did it not make it in there? No, it didn't make it, it in. Make it in there. Oh, I gotta fix that, because that's the best part. <laughs> I have it right here. Hold on. Okay, okay. All right, well, you're, you're doing that. We'll move to our next story. He says he, he likes uh, long walks <laughs> on the beach, comics, and doing charity things. You can make the worst decision and follow him on Twitter <laughs> or the working man's newspaper, Tumblr. <laughs> and we have some other great bios on there uh, apparently uh, em emily is making everyone's delicious burritos um yeah. and hula hooping yeah. uh katie our friend dutters uh twirler social media nutball tall yeah there you go so yeah go over to trustyplace.com help us move that needle a little bit and uh do some good for the community good stuff Back to you, buddy. All right. Uh, we start off uh, things you should be made aware of uh, with some sad news. Oh, no. Peter, Peter Dinklage is no longer a ghost what? in Destiny. Uh, Bungie announced they are recasting the voice of Ghost. Uh, not just the new parts, they're re recording his entire voice acting mm -hmm. performance for all of the game, even the original game. Uh, so, going back to the beginning, he's not going to be Ghost anymore. Uh, the good news is, though, that Nolan North will be the new Ghost. Uh, however, the script will not be changed, so if you're expecting much of an improvement, well, you're probably not going to get it. For an improvement. No, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to interrupt you there. The wizards are still going to come from the moon. There, the, the, the dialogue wasn't the problem. The script wasn't mm, the problem. I've heard things. The, the script wasn't the problem. <laughs> no, the was script, the, no, the script was the problem. Mm -hmm. It was how Dinklage was... Well, when you give him that kind of a script to do, he's yeah, not going to do as good. It, Peter Dinklage is a world-renowned actor. Forgive the, forgive him for he was in Pixels, but... Uh, but he's also in uh, Knights of Badassdom. 
Yes, and uh, that picks it back up. And and elf. And so, elf. And elf. Yeah. Yeah. He um, is an elf, and that is amazing. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, but no, uh, there are reports coming out, and it makes me hate the fact that I spent so much time playing the game. Mm-hmm. But there are reports coming out that uh, David Cross and Brian Posehn, uh, both hilarious comedians and actors. Uh, spent a lot of time writing a lot of good jokes for mm-hmm. the Destiny games that basically just got thrown away. Yeah, they didn't use yeah. them at all. So, I mean, you you have page upon page of uh, what I'm sure is amazing material, and you're not going to use it, and then you give a horrible script to a, a, an amazing actor. Mm-hmm. Who can do anything? He whooped Will Ferrell's ass on a conference <laughs> table. Come on. So yeah, I, I mean, it, it is. Uh, it's not Dinklage's fault. They're punishing him for being horrible, horrible decision makers. I mean, that's yeah. exactly it. Yeah. yeah. Um, other changes. I, I, oh. No, I, I was gonna say I, I get that, and, and I think it's more. It's more towards Destiny side. It's more towards Bungie mm-hmm. with what they did to mess up that horrible script with... Remember, they were the ones who said that wizard came from the moon. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And you, you can hear in the beta, you can hear Dinklage's like, disdain for saying that line. <laughs> for, he probably said that probably five, six times and they used the worst one. Right. I, I I just want there to be like a cut where where Peter Dinklage turns and goes, "Really? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> what? What? I, what is this? That's not a that's uh, not a wizard. What what are you guys talking about? Uh, other changes to the game are the new level cap, which is going to be forty. Uh, elite weapons are now obsolete, hmm. and uh, they said that something about the lighting grid is going to be gone or something like that. Uh, um, but my question is, are you guys sad to see Mr. Dinklage go, or are you excited for Norlin North? I'm more sad for Dinklage. Uh, I, I he, has, he has money. <laughs> I, I don't know who Norlin North is off the top of my head. Uh, 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 Nathan Drake. Have you played every video game ever? You've yeah. Heard, you've heard him? Okay. It's pretty it's much. Either, it's either him or Troy Baker right now, as far as like voice actors. Or, 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 the, or the guy that played, uh, or the guy that played Wolverine. Um, yeah, and yeah. like uh, half the anime uh, characters. I, I know what you mean. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's gonna it's, bother it's, me now. Yeah. <laughs> He's like video games Hank Azaria. Gotcha. Uh, no, I'm more sad about Peter Dinklage being yeah. removed from something that he worked hard on. Yes. Yeah. Right. Despite not given good material, uh, Steve Bloom is who I'm looking for. Steve Bloom. <laughs> okay, so Steven and there's Bloom. another guy that I can't think of his name either. So, uh, but yeah, uh, that's some sad. News. Wait, Wolverine was voiced by Mark Hamill at one point. What? That's because if anyone ever did a video game or uh, a comic book character voice, it was Mark Hamill. That's right, yeah. but I didn't know he was. Well, okay, I'm looking at his item. Okay, go proceed. 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 All right. Uh, Sword, you might want to pay attention to this story because nope. Nope. in Angry Birds 2, uh, the game is generally the same formula with a few new improvements and a lot of freemium content. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, levels are now split into uh, a series of stages, uh, generally, fr- generally from 2 to 5, and instead of set selections of birds, players are randomly dealt cards representing the birds in their hand yeah. with special magical effects. Yeah, this is weird. Mm-hmm. I don't know how I feel uh, about bu- this. <laughs> Building configurations can change between each individual run, so that uh, makes sense, I guess. Uh, it makes or it makes uh, much more sense to it, it makes it that it makes it much harder to strategize which cards you use. Uh, another big change to Angry Birds 2 is now you have five lives and a timer until you get more lives, unless you pay. <laughs> uh, which that's. That's okay. Um, there were new new freemium model of the game. That's where that comes in, uh, and it takes a cue from a lot of other mobile games out today on today's market. Uh, although gems can be turned into lives, cards, and etc., uh, and they do give you a lot of gems when you download the game. Uh, but once they're gone, they're gone, and you can't 
you know, you can buy them for money later on. Uh, you can also earn uh, lives by watching videos as well. So, uh, what are your thoughts on the new Angry Birds? Uh, oh, that's so sad. <laughs> uh, and is it a new take on freemium, or are you not surprised it's just become another freemium game? It, it really, because even like the ones you paid for turned into freemium games. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. This is nothing new, and which that was kind of annoying, but it, you know, it's still they were still kind of playable. Yeah, I mean, like that. I just had to pay to continue. That's not cool. That's not cool <laughs> at all. But I guess you still have the old Angry Birds if you really want to get into this. So. Yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, Angry Birds, the original one, came out right before that started. They really hit. Yes. Freemium games. Yes. Um, the, the you know the the kind that made you wait. To you pay, pay to not wait, basically. It, yeah. It's what I refer to as the Candy Crush model. Yep, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, and I'm kind of sad that they went with that model, but I can't stop playing this game because, well, it's Angry Birds. Yeah. yeah just Chachi plays five, Angry Birds two. <laughs> You're just gonna play that the entire 24 yeah, hours. I'm gonna have sword point the, the the camera right over my shoulder. And all the, and oh no! We'll we'll all we'll do money. uh much like I'm doing here. We'll just take what I'm doing here. And we'll put it on the projector. Nice. All the proceeds, go. Go, all the proceeds go to Chachi's bill after Angry Birds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah seriously. <laughs> all, solid hours. all the proceeds go to uh, victims of uh, freemium games. Is a new charity <laughs> that we're starting as a, uh, a freemium game relief program. Wow, this, the, the graphics are awesome on this, by the way. Where were you when I was playing Orville Avengers Alliance? I mean, we tried to get you to stop playing that game. We I did, did an entire video trying to stop you getting that game. I did, and, game. and I haven't, I've been doing good on it so far. I just go in every day and get my free stuff, and then I leave. Yeah, we, we, we wasted an entire day doing a, screen, a green screen video <laughs> trying to convince you not to play that game. And you it worked! Eventually. Yeah, eventually. So I don't want to hear that we didn't try to help you. All right. Do you guys want to talk about replay effects? <laughs> replay effects is like Mecca. Yeah. I want to live there. Yeah, if they could just take over the David L. Lawrence Convention Center, then that would be great. There's a picture, a holy oh, pinball God. machine. So what? what so what, how was it? What, explain, explain what the concept is for the people that are not seeing the pictures. So, I, essentially, it is what's being hailed as the largest arcade environment in, ever. Mm -hmm. um, they took up the second floor of the David L. Lawrence Convention Center in downtown Pittsburgh and uh, basically filled it with video games. Um, it was broken down into several sections. Uh, one was an inflatable bouncy area. What? Yeah, they had – it. that was – I want to say for the kids, but I saw more adults on it. <laughs> um, Did they wear shoes? No. Okay, good. Um, there was a, a pinball section, several pinball section. A couple of you couldn't enter because you were you had to be registered into uh, whatever contest was in that area. Um, um, and then just general arcade machines. And then they had the console area where they had... Uh, hundreds of uh, about a hundred or so consoles set up that you can play with various games. Um, I had to keep reminding myself to breathe. Yeah, because I, I was too too. busy. Yeah, it was too busy looking around and not really paying attention to my actual well-being. <laughs> um, and I, like I said in the in the post, uh, Riz and I had two completely different experiences. Yeah. Uh, because we went during two completely different time periods. I went Friday night uh, because that's when <laughs> what? What? You, you make it sound like two completely different time periods. Like Riz went in the 1940s and you went in the 1970s. Oh. Well, I, I went. I went. Uh, <laughs> that just uh, made me think of that. Yeah. I went Friday evening, um, which there wasn't really any like extra things going on as far as like the seminars. Or like any of the the panels or anything, uh, mainly just gaming and uh, a couple bands or DJs. Um, and Riz went at the height of everything mm -hmm. um, Saturday morning or Saturday in general. So I, I mean, it was I was free to just wander around and play whatever random game I happened to stumble upon um, without having to decide if I was going to go watch someone talk or if I was going to sit there and play games. I, I have a legitimate question. 
Yeah. Cool. Did they have X Men versus Street Fighter or X Men Children of the Atom? I didn't see either of them. Oh, okay, good. I didn't but miss anything, man. Just because I didn't <laughs> see them doesn't mean they yeah, weren't yeah. there. That's true. Uh, Bobby, yeah, my Bobby, eyes were going all over the place. Bobby, you want to come over and play X Men: Children of the Atom on my uh, Sega Saturn? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I love that game. Hey, Sora. Yeah. Bring it to Chachi Play. <laughs> oh. You, you would be impressed with their uh, their setup as far as showing the the pinball or arcade game records being set. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it was a rig uh, set up with a GoPro. Ooh. On, on basically a selfie stick that was secured to the machine mm-hmm. uh, and next to it was a uh, vertical oriented uh, like flat screen TV that the GoPro was directly hooked up to so yeah. you could see live what was happening on the screen without hanging over the person's like shoulder nice oh, wow. That's cool. yeah. um, and, but, go ahead no, you go ahead uh, uh, but that was there because they had two different uh, pinball contests going on, mm-hmm. or uh, mm-hmm. arcade contests. They had uh, Pinberg, which was uh, just a, a pinball championship. And then they had, uh, uh, what, the Kong Off? The Kong, Kong Off 4. four. Yeah. Uh, and on Saturday, that, that big screen really helped because uh, Billy Mitchell was there. No. And decked out in his... W- all white. Uh, that's Billy Mitchell suit. all the time. <laughs> I'm, he just I'm, wears that everywhere. <laughs> yeah, he probably does. With the USA tie. Has to have a USA tie. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think he had the USA tie. What? I think he just had the white on white tie. Oh, still, that's cool. Uh, but he was there, the, uh, the that one referee guy that was on. Oh, nice. King Kong was there. <laughs> Um, Legitimate question: Did Brian Coon at any time come up to you and say, "There's a potential Donkey Kong kill screen coming up"? No, I was waiting for that <laughs> moment because there was like the, the first time I saw the King of Kong, the, the King, the Kong yeah, off, like oh. set, like everybody was surrounding this one area, and I'm looking over there and I, I'm I'm staring at the screen and I'm like, who am I? And I look down, and it's Billy Mitchell playing, <laughs> playing the Donkey Kong. And I'm like, is he getting the? And that, that was the first thing that came in my mind. Like, is he about to get? Is he about to get the kill screen? <laughs> like, I, I just focused on that for about maybe two minutes, and then I, my mind completely went to another game. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. Like, I'm sitting there. I was playing uh, Turbo Graphics 16, and I'm like. <laughs> Did you, Did you play Bonk? Did you play Bonk? It oh. wasn't Bonk. Um, and then I'm like, yeah, I'm wasting a lot of time sitting here playing this game when I haven't even seen what else is in this section. <laughs> but like, I, it was <sighs> the I only spent- way I can describe it is is you walk into the hall and you instantly develop ADD. Mm-hmm. Like instantly. I, I spent, let's see, more than enough time playing pro wrestling. Uh, by the way, I won like all the all the time. Uh, there was Fight Night. I played a few few rounds of Fight Night, and I played on the GameCube Pokemon Stadium. Nice. And holy crap! Like it, it brought so many. Like, it brought memories back. And like I like I posted in the uh, in the article, there was one point where I was sitting playing a game that I used to play and then hearing a kid just shout, hey, that's GTA San Andreas. I have the cheat codes for it. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, the kid has to be about 10 years old. And I'm, I, my, I, I'm still smiling thinking about that kid playing that game. Uh, I have committed the muscle memory, the cheat codes for Vice City, I think. Hey, Riz? Yes, Judge. Let me, let me ask you something that we didn't cover in the, in the article. How many times did you find yourself playing a game that you currently own? <laughs> oh. Oh. I, I played, I played, yeah. I, I don't even know how long I've been, how long I was there. 
So I, I can't even tell you a time frame, but maybe maybe 10 minutes, 10, 20 but, minutes. Yeah. At yeah. one point, I found myself on, like, my seventh race of RC Pro-Am. <laughs> hey, Rare Replay comes out today. <laughs> Came out today. <laughs> Before I realized that I'm sitting here in front of a TV hooked up to a Nintendo playing a game that I, I own <laughs> and play. And I'm like, this is dumb. I should probably just move on. All right, Chachi, I, I got a, I got a, maybe a three-parter here. All right. Um, what was your best arcade, best pinball, best video game you played there? I, well, I didn't play pinball. Um, I, I, I'm not typically a fan of pinball. Mm -hmm. um, plus, not too recently, or not too long ago, I spent six hours playing pinball. <laughs> Chachi, um, can you hear me? So, um, and, and the thing is, the one pinball machine that I wanted to play had a line, so I couldn't, mm -hmm. and that was uh, the Who's uh, Tommy. Oh, yeah. I, I, I wanted to play the pinball wizard machine, and I couldn't play the pinball wizard machine because it was always full. Didn't they have a one, that um, one at the Hall of Fame? No, they didn't. They didn't, okay. Uh, which they should, considering, you know, it's pinball, pinball wizard. But, yeah, yeah. Um, it's probably the most famous pinball machine uh, available. Right. But anyhow, um, I, I played... Uh, I'm gonna go say either the Punch Out machine or the uh, the Super Mario Brothers arcade machine, because mm. um, I liked both of those. And then, uh, even though I couldn't get it to work, uh, my favorite console that they had set up was the TMD. Wow! Uh, wow! And I'm pretty sure it was uh, unplugged under the table that I couldn't access. Because I mean, I work in computers. I'm pretty sure I can get a computer to work. Um, and it was either dead or unplugged underneath where I couldn't reach. So, yeah, th those were those were good answers, about, and those probably t were mine too. Uh, but also, I, I realized how strenuous uh, playing uh, man, what was that called? Crisis, time crisis, time yeah. crisis two oh, is yes. on your like calves and mm -hmm. your. Oh, like you have to press it down, press down the pedal to reload. And after a while, I switched legs because it was a free play. And then after a while of that, I just stopped the kid and said, here, play this. And then I left. <laughs> it's something else. Actually, he asked me to butt in. I was like, okay. Mr. Sure, can on. I play? Yes. <laughs> and also the... Are you sure uh, that it wasn't like the opening scene... Of uh, war games, where <laughs> you said, "Hey, do you want to finish this?" and then ran late to class before you hacked the, the military. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's probably it. Yeah, uh, but I was also, say, that sounds, that sounds uh, the, like you. So, oh yeah, the arcade game of the Atari Star Wars game. I played that for about a few minutes, and I really wanted to play that some more. <laughs> But every time there was, there was a line. Hmm. Uh, so no. Uh, but yeah, it, it's it's it. It was a fun time being there. Right. I want to I want to live on that couch that was in the front area, just so I can just sleep there. <laughs> uh, and, and if you didn't read the article, uh, what he's talking about is there was a uh, a setup in uh, at the top of the escalator, essentially. Um, where it was set up like the 1980s. You had you, know, you had the plaid couch um, mm -hmm. with the, the console television, the, the horrible family photos set up on top of the TV, and then the uh, Nintendo, and it was uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 that they had set up. Yeah, and I almost I almost jumped into a, a, a sweet session of sweating to the oldies, <laughs> but I had to pull myself away from that. Even though it was the cool down session. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, glad you guys had some fun. Uh, I unfortunately missed it. And and uh, on a side note, if you have not caught uh, King of Kong: Fistful of Quarters, watch the documentary. It is life changing. <laughs> All right. Um, we're gonna move on here to Rocket League. 
Uh, mm. Rocket League may be coming to other platforms in the near future. Uh, we just aren't sure which ones yet. Most likely Xbox, but they didn't really say. Uh, but the reason is not what you think. Uh, Jeremy Dunham, the vice president and marketing for marketing and communication at Psyonix, uh, couldn't specify which platforms uh, they were exploring in uh, comments to GameZone. However, he explained that the game's launch on PC and PlayStation 4, where it has been offered for free on PlayStation Plus subscribers, Riz, you know this very well, uh, but hey, not uh, Xbox One, uh, was not due to any agreement with Sony. Um, the studio is a small studio, and it takes time to build such an impressive game on different platforms. Uh, he also went on to say that we will never say never to any platform that is current gen. So that could mean uh, the Wii U, could mean Xbox One, hopefully Xbox One, crossing my fingers. Mm -hmm. um, but where do you guys think Rocket League will end up? Uh, it, it's ending up on my TV screen right now. <laughs> uh, Wherever it, it wants to end up. Yeah, because it's going to sell. It's going to sell like gangbusters. Uh, I've been playing this since I've heard it came out for PlayStation, and it was free. Uh, and it's just, I can't wait to play other, play it some more and have you guys feel what mm -hmm. we're feeling now when this comes out for, I, you know. I, I jealous. platforms. You better be – well, Bobby, next time we're going to say this, next I, I'm going to be jealous of you in a few minutes. So, okay, sure. You know. sure. I, I'm playing the video now here if you guys are on the video version. And, uh, and yeah, this looks like fun. Mm -hmm. Hey, my, my Twitch is in the chat. So. Oh, uh, I can't um, get to that. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's, it's fun. It, it's so much fun. It's soccer with cars. Yeah, it's, it's, it's 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 twisted metal with car with with soccer. <laughs> twisted metal with cars. <laughs> twisted metal with cars, mm -hmm. also known as cars. Can't you unlock sweet tooth in in it? Like there's an ice cream truck. I think there is an ice cream truck version. Yeah, that's what I thought. So. Uh, sorry, sorry for the people who are watching me on the camera right now. <laughs> uh, my 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 TV's this way. Pause it for a little bit, and uh, just. Just, just talk amongst yourselves in this moment. Me just geeking out over this game. And we're tied. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. We're tied. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sorg, you want to tell us about some delicious, delicious pizza? Mm, mm, mm. Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh pizza with the perfect pepperoni pizza for well over a year here. Check them out. Sliceonbroadway.com. They're here in the South Hills of Pittsburgh and Beachfield along the tracks, as well as over in Carnegie, PA, down on Main Street. Great stuff. Fresh ingredients. Rico's awesome. Check out the videos. Check out the food. Follow them on social media. PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter, as well as Facebook and Instagram. Let them know that you heard about them on the Boss Battle. Now let's go take a look at some quick things happening around Sorgatron Media in this past week, and we'll be right back. Um, also, uh, this is also very important because I have Chachi on the show. If you go to the website uh, for Chubby Shorts on the bright bottom right-hand side, mm -hmm. it says... Share if you hate pants. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So they're just... Well, let me, uh, let me go do that right now. Yeah, you're like, I love these people. We are best friends. I, I mean, they're, yep. it, it's this very human aspect and very... I, I just really like their their product and like I said their short videos. <laughs> you know him. He you knows to only be the. Why would they possibly listen to John Cena? He's only been the top guy in the company for a damn decade, Sorg. What, because what they don't give creative control. Because why they don't you, give creative control in their me? contracts why anymore. Talk to the man. Talk to the man over I there. Even. I can't even. I can't even. He Sorg. feels he can't reason with. You. They don't give creative control in their contracts anymore. Not since uh, racist Hulk Hogan <laughs> <laughs> in <laughs> WCW ran that oh. to the ground. Back around. Chachi Plays for Kids is coming back again. The 24 hour game a thon for youth arts programs in Pittsburgh. August 7th and 8th at the Tunesium, or join us live. ChachiPlays.com. Find out how you can make a difference too and donate today. ChachiPlays.com. Up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B A, B A, start. Yeah. Boy, we sure did a lot this week. Mm -hmm. All right.
Now we're going to move on to the big news of the week. Uh, Gamescom happened in Germany today, uh, oh, and nice. uh, Microsoft had their press conference, and here are some of the things that were revealed during this press conference. Uh, Quantum Break, uh, bear with me, I took notes while this conference was going on, so here, <laughs> here we go. These are my jumbled notes. Uh, Quantum Break looks like a game, and it looks amazing. Uh, it's also a show. <laughs> they're they're going to have a game and a show running at the same exact time. Um, and, and Littlefinger from Game of Thrones is in it. Uh, basically, time freezes in the game, and you're the only one that can move during the game, uh, besides the bad guys who have, like, tech that allow them to move. Um, when they showed this game off, uh, I think it was, like, not last E3, but the E3 before this, it didn't look like a game. It looked like, oh, that looks like a show, kind of, that, how are you going to play that as a game? Uh, let me just say that this game looks amazing now. <laughs> I'm I'm very sold on this game where I wasn't before. Um, and Sean Ashmore, uh, Iceman from the X-Men movies, is the main star of the game. Like, he, he did all the motion capture. It looks like him, main character. Uh, so I, I'm really impressed with that game, and I, I can't wait until it comes out in 2016. Um, Crackdown is now called Crackdown 3, uh, which is fitting because it is the third Crackdown game. <laughs> um, it Novel. has 100 percent destructible environments, uh, so that's cool. And you still collect orbs, so that's a win-win situation. Um, Scalebound, they showed off an action RPG that is, is exclusive to the Xbox One, where you ride a dragon and sci fight sci-fi in a sci-fi medieval world. It looks very impressive. Uh, it looked really, really surprisingly funny um, and fun, uh, and that's coming out on holiday for 2016. Um, Xbox also announced that they have a DVR coming to Xbox One for only for over the channel, over the air channels. Like Sora, you could take advantage of this because you don't have cable. Ooh. Um, so you're you're gonna get a built-in DVR in your Xbox. We actually did. Shows. We actually did talk about this a little bit on Awesome Cast tonight, and mm -hmm. and this is one of those things where it's that one more thing, that one more thing, that one more thing <laughs> that's really kind of driving me towards picking up that Xbox One sooner yeah. than later, because it's one of those like. If I can just DVR everything over the air, which is most of the stuff that I, I pay to watch on Hulu mm -hmm. or CBS that I don't can't, I can't get anywhere unless I buy the, the show and I really mm -hmm. want to see Supergirl um, like that could solve a lot of problems there for me. So and, and part of the reason that it's only for over the air is because cable companies don't want Microsoft to have a DVR competing with their DVRs. They want you to buy their DVR. So I think uh, right. Microsoft made a deal with like the cable industry that they weren't going to have it for cable. Um, also, uh, they, they announced a new chat pad for the Xbox One controller. Uh, backwards compa compatibility is coming in November for free if you have the games, so that that's great. Uh, and they, they tested a whole bunch more, so there, there's many studios are, are on board for this. Um, Killer Instinct Season 3 is coming out in uh, March 2016. And Rash from Battletoads is going to be in the game today. They released him, <laughs> and he fits right in with the, with the rare uh, characters in Killer Instinct. Um, Bloodstained, uh, Leader of the Night, is on Xbox One, a, a part of their ID at Xbox program. Um, and if you're not uh, familiar with this one, it was announced, I think, at E3. Um, the creator of Castlevania created the game. It raised $5 million on Kickstarter. It's also coming to Windows 10. Um, this game, this, this announcement almost made me cry today at work. <laughs> not, not afraid to admit that. Um, City Skylines, I was going to buy a new computer for it. I don't have to now because it's coming to Xbox One. Made my year. Um, and a, a whole bunch of other indie, indie games, including Ukulele, which is the spir spiritual successor Ooh. to Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, and War a new Worms game called Worms WMD is also coming to the ID at Xbox One. Um, the, Ron Gilbert, the creator of Maniac Mansion, uh, announced his new game, uh, Thimbleweed Park is coming to Xbox One. It's kind of like an X-Files meets Maniac Mansion murder mystery point-and-click adventure. So that kind of sounds cool. Um, Ark is uh, shipping for Xbox One and Windows 10 uh, in, I think they said 2016. Uh, we Happy Few is a nightmare-inducing game, and it's oh, coming, God, to it's coming to Xbox One. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it, it it's uh, creepy. yeah, it, it lo it's very creepy. The, it bas basically, Mad Men wearing masks mm -hmm. in London, and it's just, uh, um, 
Cobalt from the creators of Minecraft, Mojong, uh, have a new game coming, and it's exclusive to the Xbox One. Uh, I, I guess they uh, didn't Microsoft buy Mojang. Yeah. Uh, so they, they, bought it they bought this right game right after uh, Notch left. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or um, he but, was the they, he was the they were the reason Notch left. One of the two. Yeah. Uh, Cobalt is a, a multiplayer game that's coming soon. So uh, it's coming October 2015. Um, Riz new Dark Souls three footage was shown. Um, I haven't even beaten Bloodborne yet, <laughs> um, it, and it looks am- amazing. Um, I know. Thank you, Bobby. Now play it. Uh, new Homefront the Revolution footage was shown, which surprised me because I didn't think this was that popular of a game. Um, I I don't feel those games. I don't know why. I just couldn't get into them. Um, and the big news at the end of the Microsoft confer- uh, conference was Halo Wars 2 is coming to Xbox One. Um, if you're Ooh. a fan of the original Halo Wars, it's a huge announcement. Um, mm-hmm. Nobody expected this game to come out at all. Uh, it was kind of really a surprise announcement at the show. Um, and next week, we're going to have more on Sony's press conference mm-hmm. because they, I think, is either tomorrow or tonight or something like that, sometime in the near future. Um, so the final round question this week, do you think Windows 10 – and Xbox are slowly starting to merge into one platform. And what announcements are you most excited about so far from Gamescom? Let's go first. Uh, yes, they're starting to merge into one console, but that was Microsoft's plan from the beginning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, this isn't anything new. It's just finally happening. Yeah. Uh, Microsoft said from the beginning that they wanted Xbox One to be the only thing in the living room. Um, they're starting and- to do that. Yeah, now they're, they're starting to do that. Slowly replacing the PC. <laughs> right. Mary had so, a television. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I mean, it was just a matter of time before they finally followed through with what they mm-hmm. said. Um, as far as any announcements, nothing is really standing out to me. Um, I, I'm not excited about anything. I'm excited about um, City Skylines. Yeah, uh, that's, yeah, yeah, that's good, Bobby. Uh, but, but most of the ones that w- were announced at E3 were the ones I was excited for. Right. Like, I already know Dark Souls 3 was coming out. I don't re- I don't really, and by the way, uh, the way Bungie's handling this, you're probably not going to buy, I, I, don't, I don't really care about Halo as much as the next guy. Uh, but, and yeah, they, they have good stuff coming out, mm-hmm. and it, it's making me jealous that I can't play on my TV right now, the game that I have on Steam, but I can't play on my laptop, which is Ark. That that that's one of the ones I'm most sad about not playing. But they are probably going to be on PlayStation in the near future. Oh, I, I guarantee it. A little after um, Xbox One. It did say first on Xbox One. So. Uh, but other than that, like like Chachi said, I'm. They are mer- that I think they are closer to merging than we think they are. Mm-hmm. I think even if they're not already merged, they're going to merge. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you can't really say much about things that already been said. Um, I, th- I, I, go- going into the press conference, I was like, ah, oh, it's probably going to be like E three. Um. It was a lot like E3, but the one difference was coming out of this press conference compared to E3, I'm a lot more excited about the games they announced at E3 now. Um, I wasn't as excited like like you guys said about Halo. I'm more excited about Halo, Halo Wars. I'm more excited about Tomb Raider. They showed a lot of good stuff from that. Um, more excited about Forza 6. Uh, more, more, just more excited about the games that are coming for Xbox One. Xbox One. I'm, I finally feel justified in getting an Xbox One <laughs> compared to a PlayStation 4. Before it was like, so, oh man, PlayStation 4 is getting so so many good games. Now we're finally getting good games, and and, and it's it's starting to look up for both systems. And you know? uh, a little uh, note about PlayStation: they do not have a stream. They they are not streaming their press conference. Oh really? They they. They said they don't have a stream this year, but look out for us at Paris instead. Hmm. However, they do have some good stuff lined up here on the blog from our third-party partners. 
So and of and they they actually have the they have the EA press conference coming. Oh God. Um, it's all about uh, soccer. <laughs> the Call of Duty uh, press conference, which was kind of weird, I saw on there. Uh, there's another one on there that I it was Call of Duty. It was it was EA and well, last but not least, I know I'm gonna find it. There's Call of Duty. Uh, continues, continue, Bobby. Well, you know, there's gonna be a lot and of Blizzard. stuff. And Blizzard. Know, oh, really? Ooh, interesting. Um, you know there's going to be a lot of stuff that's leaking out from Sony anyways during Gamescom. Yeah. You know, there's going to be a lot of news coming out. Um, today, tomorrow and Thursday are like the big convention days, so we're going to be getting probably more news like E3. Uh, it'll, be, it'll start to leak out as, as we go. And, so. and, if you, and if you like your EA news, uh, the EA, EA Gamescom 2015 conference – Starts at 4 a.m. Eastern. Yeah. yeah. Mm, we're staying up for that. <laughs> All the soccer's. All right. Oh. Or footballs. I'm sorry. Footballs. Call of Duty that oh. won. <laughs> and Blizzard that 6 a.m. on Wednesday. And that might be worth getting up for. And the World of Warcraft expansion is at 12. All right. Well, that's going to do it for us this week. You can follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTV. You can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. A new article is going up daily. And you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on live.circuitronmedia.com. Sir, do you have any plugs? Go. Uh, okay, I have. Well, I'll, I'll, <laughs> yes, he does. I do. Chachi plays, Chachi plays, Chachi plays. <laughs> also, if you're in Pittsburgh, go to podcamppittsburgh.com. It's going to be the weekend after Chachi plays on April 15th and 16th. There will be a live awesome cast and i think we're going to be doubled up with another live podcast uh, performing before us i'm hoping to get an announcement on that tomorrow if you're in the pittsburgh area i think there's going to be a name you may recognize on that podcast so stay tuned for that uh so much more uh sawtooth no, willie thing he has to plug is chachiplays.com that's it chachiplays.com that's where peter dinklage is coming <laughs> dude we got peter dinklage down at chachiplays.com <laughs> No, it's not Peter English. <laughs> oh, if only, if uh, only. All right, Chachi plugs. Chachi plays. Chachi plugs. Chachi plays. Yep, Chachi plugs. Chachi plays. Uh, go over to ChachiPlays.com and uh, help us. Hit that donut little, button. Yep, every little donut. bit helps. Actually, donut. Yes. All right, Riz plugs. Uh, ChachiPlays.com. Uh, also, Riz plays games, uh, which is a little better. <laughs> uh. I actually just posted a two, uh, I just posted a new video today of my uh, journey through madness uh, with the, the the challenge of going one through thirty in the Royal Rumble with a wrestler known as the Great Khali. Oh yeah. For those of you yes. who don't know who the Great Khali is, Google him. <laughs> After you donate to ChachiPlays.com. Google right pictures. Up. Google there pictures. It's it amazing. And the pictures are, are great that he uses on this. Uh, it's yeah, some I good know, stuff. Oh, yeah. It, it's only getting better, sorry. <laughs> All right. I, I am at Bobby F. J. Town. I'm going to plug Chachi Plays as well. Go donate. It's for a good cause. That'll do it for us this week, guys. Game over. Game over, yeah! This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.